Hello guys and welcome to Amulya's Academy YouTube channel. We were discussing about binary heap data structure and today in this tutorial we'll talk about heap queue module. Heap queue is a python module which provides the implementation of the min heap. This module make use of binary heap data structure and this module provides many functions which are helpful to implement priority queues or to find the largest or smallest number in given iterables. So let's see how to use this heap queue module and how the function of this module works. To use heap queue module in python no need to install anything just open up the python file like this and you can import heap queue module like this import heap queue that is the module name and enter. So using the heap queue module in python is easier just we need to use import keyword followed by the module name. Next let's see the function of heap queue module and how it works. The first function of heap queue module is heap push. Let's see its syntax first. Heap queue this heap push function belongs to heap queue module so we need to take heap queue dot heap push like this and here you need to mention the heap name okay or the list name here we are using list and here you need to mention the item which item you want to enter what this function will do this function will insert the item to the heap maintaining the binary heap property here in the heap queue model the min heap property so it will insert the new element to the heap by maintaining the min heap property okay so let's see an example first let me create a list or you can say heap so now we have empty heap here next here let's call the heap push function let's insert an element to this heap so heap queue that is the module name followed by function name heap push next here the first parameter is the heap name or the list name followed by the item which I want to insert next if I check heap now 10 is inserted now if I take heap push if I insert one so in the heap one will be present first followed by 10 that is because here one is smaller than 10 and this heap queue module follows the minimum heap property right so it will insert the element by following the min heap property now if i use phi one ten phi here you can see the tree right okay so this is about heap push function next let's talk about the next function that is heap pop so this heap pop function is also belongs to heap queue module so you need to take heap queue dot heap pop and here you need to mention heap name the parameter is heap name or the list name what this function will do this function will return the smallest value as well as it will delete that from the heap maintaining the binary heap property after deleting the root node it will maintain the heap property so let's see an example for this here we have 110 file so let me use heap queue dot heap pop and here I'll use heap so one is removed it will return the minimum value as well as it will delete that from the list here you can see it will delete that from the heap this is extracting minimum or maximum value from the heap here it is minimum heap that's why we are extracting minimum value the root node if i use that again phi will be deleted that is the root node of the tree now that is deleted it will return the value of the smallest node and it will delete that from the binary heap all right so this is about the heap pop function next let's talk about the next function that is heapify syntax is like this heap q dot heapify and the parameter is heap what this function will do this function will convert the given list to heap binary heap so when list of numbers are given and if the numbers are not following the heap property then you can use heapify it will convert that list to heap in place 
let's take an example here i'll take few values like this 1 3 5 2 4 6 okay here we have list which is not following the min heap property now if i want to transform this list to heap then what i can do is heap q heap phi like this and here you just need to mention the list one now if i check list one here we can see the elements are following the min heap property nodes are arranged so that it is following the min heap property now so this is about the heapify function so the next function is heap push pop heap q dot heap push pop and here the heap name the list name and item so what this function will do is first it will push or insert mentioned item to the heap by maintaining the heap property after that it will return the smallest value from the heap also it will delete that from the heap this is the combined action it will perform push and pop operation in the single function so let's see an example for this so i'll create a heap like this okay we have list one right now list one dot heap push pop let me push 89 and here you need to mention list one sorry here heap q module name dot function name and here you need to mention the heap name and the element one is the smallest element of the heap so it is returning that and if i check now list one here we can see one is removed from the heap and 89 is inserted and here every node is following the heap property also binary heap property so this function will do both push and pop operation in a single function right so this is about this function next let's talk about the next function that is heap replace next followed by heap and item so what this function will do is first it will pop the smallest element then it will insert the new element so first it will perform pop operation followed by the push operation so let's see the example for this let's take heap q dot heap replace and let's take list one followed by i want to insert the element as 100 so it will return 2 then if I check heap, 100 is inserted. So first it will perform pop operation followed by the push operation. In the heap push pop, first will perform push operation followed by the pop operation. Alright, so the next function is n smallest. Heap q n smallest. Here first parameter is n. Here next iterable. Next here key is equal to none. It is same as sorted method this function will return n smallest number in the given iterable if you mention n as 2 it will give two smallest number of given iterable for example now here we have a list now if i want to find heap q dot n smallest n smallest and if i want two smallest number from the heap the list 1 and 2 are the smallest number now you can use this function on any iterable okay here you can see this is not following the heap cube property binary heap property this is not a binary heap then also it is giving this n smallest numbers it will give four numbers if i heapify the heap then you can use okay and next function is n largest and the syntax is same instead of function name here you need to take largest it will give the n largest numbers in the given iterable for example twenty six and five are the three largest numbers of the heap okay so this is about the heap queue function so here you can see using heap q function we can find the n smallest and n largest numbers in the given iterable 
Next, let's see an example for priority queue. I want to implement priority queue using this heap queue module. So here, here I'll take values as tuple. In the tuple, the first value is priority and the second one is the value or item which I want to insert to the queue. So here, if I take a list one in the list, the first element is this is the priority and this is the item like Rhea. And next here, this is the priority and this is the element like this. Now remember that heap queue model provides an implementation for minimum heap. So here the smallest value highest priority. The element which has smallest value will be popped out first or will be removed from the queue first. So now you can just heapify this heap queue heapify and here just list one. Sorry, we need to import heap queue first, right? Okay, next if you want, you can print list one here. So here I'm trying to show you the tree also. Next now I want to pop the element, right? So I'll use for loop here. So I'll use range as length of list one. Like how many elements are present in the list one? I need to pop that, right? That's why here I'm taking range length of list one. And here I'll print heap queue. I'll use heap pop function here, heap pop and from the list one. Okay, so let's execute this. So first the element will be removed from this is Rhea because it has priority one, which is the highest priority here next to three and next four. So this is about the heap queue module. So that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class till then. Take care.